Joe, 45 years on, what does the name Brigadier Gerard mean to you? An awful lot. <laughs> he, oh, whenever I think about him, I get excited. It was just a pleasure to have been capable of riding him and being there when he, when he did it. And uh, it always brings back wonderful memories. And when you reflect on what he achieved and what you achieved with him, was that the, the absolute pinnacle for you of your, of your racing career, just looking back at what he achieved? I think t to be associated with him was a privilege, because he was such a great horse, a tremendous character, and to do what he did was quite outstanding. There's not too many horses achieve 17 out of 18 wins and 11 Group 1 races. Tell us about the day you, you first met him and you first sat on him. Is it true that he had you on the floor the first day you met him? Well, when I first met him, I, I didn't meet him until nearly the end of March, and because I was uh, busy in India at the time, having a vacation over there. We won't go into that any deeper. And uh, Bobby Elliott wrote me a letter. He said, Are you, you know, please get back as soon as you can. He said, we've got something special. So I'm looking forward to getting back, which I did. Eventually when I arrived back, I was pretty fit when I came back. And I went riding to, to Dick Earns and just rode him out from the yard. And they all said, now watch him, because he'll have you. And five minutes later, he had me bang on the floor. <laughs> He's just duck and dive, you know. He said, that's it now. He said, he won't do it anymore. And he never did. But he did everybody who sat on him the first morning off. And he'd just take one look at you and say, you're in your right place now, boy. Stay there. <laughs> at the same time, we had some very, very good two-year-olds. Well, he was chalk and cheese against them. And I'll never forget the first time we ran him. And I've got the card in the office. Six runners, six runner field, five winners in the field. And he was the outsider. And he just made them look like hacks. Not too bad in hindsight, is it? He <laughs> was, was a great horse. A great to be associated with something quite nice because he only had basically two people ever sat on him. Buster, three three people. Buster used to ride him out, and his own boy Ian, because he he was a very uh, not temperamental, but he had this thing like he'd be walking along and he'd stop, and uh, he wondered why he'd stopped, and he could probably see five or six lambs away in the field. And he'd have to study them for a second or two, or maybe a minute or two, and then he'd, then he'd walk off. So you just left him to it, you know, you didn't bully him, because you couldn't bully him. And uh, it was just an association with him. And Buster used to ride him and say, I say, well, what do you think, Buster? And he said, he's something special, really special. So 2017 marks the 45th anniversary of the Coral Eclipse that he won, and unblemished, 10 out of 10 going into that season and just how excited were you to to go through that winter to know what you had waiting on the other side? Very. Looking forward to it all the time but getting back to the eclipse I mean he was touch and go whether we ran him or not and we all walked the course and thought well you know it's very soft very heavy but there was a strip there which wasn't too bad so we said well we'll run and luckily uh, he's a very brave horse Obviously much better on top of the ground than he was on the soft, and uh, he struggled on, he won, but barely. He was only a short margin. But his owner, Brigadier Gerard's owner, John Hislop, said that when the ground was soft, it was like putting a stone on Brigadier Gerard's back. Is that something you could feel? Well, he was such a fluent mover. You know, he, when he strode out, he, he, you know, he'd go for yards, and in softer ground, he was rather sort of clobbering along, not, not really coping with it. But he, he ran twice on soft ground, and he won both times on soft ground. But with that coral eclipse, you, you said the soft ground was a, obviously an issue, but Mill Reef had been scratched in the, in the days building up to the race. Did that just give you a little extra confidence that he wouldn't have to be at his brilliant best to win? Yeah, to a point, but uh, at a mile, a mile and a quarter, you know, was, Mill Reef is a mile, a mile and a quarter, a mile and a half horse. It would, be, it would have been touch and go, particularly in that ground, I think Mill Reef would have beaten him. I'm sure he would have done. But luckily he didn't run, so that was good. 